What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Josh Whitey 16, aka Any Josh Art, aka the most beast mode artist on YouTube. Coming at you with a video. It's gonna be a little different. I'm gonna do a painting, but I'm gonna do this one full length. Uh, the only editing I'm going to do is when I need to cut scenes to clean a brush or two. And um, this is gonna be an oil painting, obviously. And all I'm gonna be using is two inch brush, one inch brush, palette knife, and fan brush. Hope you guys enjoy it, and let me know in the comments below if you guys like this type of uh, me making videos, if you like the time lapse better, just let me know. And uh, I'll see you guys at the end of the video. Thanks a lot for watching. Guys, yeah, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with a little bit of blue and a two inch brush. And with cross strokes or X strokes, just come right up here at the top. Start painting in your sky. Let it get lighter as it gets to the bottom. Lighter as it gets to the horizon. Just X strokes right now. Don't worry too much about it. We're going to come back in and blend this all together. We're going to use that same color. <clears throat> and we're going to put some water in. Now, all you're going to do is Go to the bottom of your canvas. You start at one side, and you're just going to pull it. Just pull it right across. Same thing on this side. Just grab the color from the side. Pull it straight across. This just gives us a little bit of indication of water here that we can use later. clean brush and I'm just going to come back in here blend this sky together a little bit better soften it up still using those same X strokes but we're blending it up and if you want to wipe some of the color off on a paper towel feel free just trying to soften this sky up just a little bit. With our one inch brush, pull it through some white, titanium white. We can take this rounded edge here that we created and we can just start indicating where we might want some clouds for this painting. creating the tops of these clouds. And you can do this until you have the cloud shape that you want. Keep hitting that rounded edge, little circles, create the base of that cloud. I'm going to put a little bit more here, just like this. You can try to vary it as much as you'd like. Clouds can look however you want them to. Then we're going to take a clean one inch brush and using small circles 
we're just going to blend out just the bottom of this cloud. Soften that up. Little circles. Try not to touch the tops. Keep that highlight going. Then take your brush. Gently lift up. Fluff the cloud. Very gently. And then blend out. Now we're going to take some blue and some black. The knife. Mix it up. Pull it out flat and just cut across a little roll of paint on the knife. And we're just going to come up here. Start to block in a little, a little distant mountain. Just a little mountain off in the distance here. Not too big. This mountain is going to be very far away. Then with our one inch brush, go in here and just pull this color out. Just pull it down and actually start to shape our mountain just by pulling down. Just pulling this down, pulling this color out. Try not to destroy the top. We need this edge. Just like that. And then just come back in here on the bottom. Fill that in. Pull that in a little bit. Crack it out. Kind of make it a little misty. Then with some white on the knife. We can come in here very lightly. Add a little bit of highlight to this map. No pressure at all with the knife. Just add in the smallest bit of highlight to this map. Just a little bit. This mountain is very far away, so you don't need too much. Okay. <coughs> we'll just continue highlight this. That paint break. Next, we're going to take a little bit of white and some blue. Mix that together. A little bit more white. Get us a nice color here. Get it nice and flat. Cut across, get your roll of paint. And we're just going to come in and add just a little bit of shadow to our highlight areas. Right behind the highlight. And just pull it straight down. Letting it break. Like we did before. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Just pull this color straight down. Just like that. Pull it down. You can have highlights and whatever you want on your mountain. Ok, 
like I said, this one's very far away, so we're not putting too much detail into it. Now, I'm going to grab that same black color on the knife, pull it out flat, cut across, pull it out flat, <laughs> cut across, cut across again, there we go. And then, we're going to start way up here, and we're going to shape a mountain that's going to be kind of in the foreground covering this other mountain. So just put paint straight down, kind of blocking the area of this mountain. I don't want to keep it too straight. It's kind of rocky. Mountains are rocky. And then just pull, pull some more color this way, right here in front of this mountain. Now let's grab that one inch brush again. <clears throat> and we'll start up here at the mount the top of the mountain. <clears throat> Excuse me. We'll grab the color and we'll just pull it down. Just pull it. Pull it all the way down here. Grab it. Pull it down. Just like that. Out the base of the mountain. Nice and misty. Take that color, put it down. And we don't destroy the top, so move it out. We're just pulling the color down. Now with some just some white on the knife. Let's start up here. And add some highlight. To this mountain. No pressure. Put all that breaking in there. All that breaking. Just continue this with the mountain out here on the side. Keep that going. All the way down. And then I'm going to take a little bit of brown and white, maybe a little bit of blue. There's my one. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. Now, brown, white, and blue on the knife. And this, we're gonna, we're gonna just kinda, maybe this is just some, some regular rocks over here. So we're just gonna turn these down and make the color a little different. Pull, pull out nice. Pull out nice and nice and long and long, just like that. Now with some blue and a little bit of white. Not too much white. We want to keep this shadow on this mountain really dark because it's, it's really close. And then just go in and drop in a little bit of shadow to this mountain here. All right, like that. Give yourself some contrast between light and dark, and you will be amazed at how realistic your paintings can be. Just a little bit. Go up here. And we'll highlight the shadow on the back part of this map. Just like 
like that. Pull it down. And like that. Now, we're just going to throw a little bit here. Not very much. So I like the way that that black looks. Just throwing in a little bit. A little bit of. I guess that would be dark light, so it's not high light. But now with the with the one inch brush, we're gonna take a little bit of green, a little bit of this blue, very small amount of black. We're gonna come right here. We're just gonna Gonna press, press straight on. And we're gonna create ourselves a little, little tree line in the distance here. Fan brush here. And we're just just pressing with the fan brush to create more little trees. Remember these trees are really far away. So they're going to look kind of fuzzy. Now with the one inch brush again, I'm going to grab that color and just pull it straight down. And this is going to create us some reflections on our water down here. Just grab the paint that's already there from the tree line and pull it down. And a lot of little awesome things will start to happen. Once you've done that, you go lightly across. Still with the one inch brush, we're going to just we're going to try to tap on a little bit of land just by tapping with the brush. Just tap on some land. Just like that. Maybe. I got a little bit more here. Now with the fan brush and some black, I think I want a real big tree right here. Real big. And maybe this one just comes right off the goes right off the canvas here. Still pushing up, shaping those limbs. Making the shape, because we'll come back in and throw some highlights on this little guy. Back to the one inch brush, we're going to grab some, some green and yellow. And we're going to come right in here. Just tap. Create. Create some grass. Right here. Just create some grass. Just pushing up. Don't cover up all of the, all of the dark. Got to leave the same. some of the dark.
Now remember we got this one here. We got a pine tree coming out right here, so we gotta be careful how we highlight this one. I'm just gonna highlight right across here. Just by pushing. Just pushing up. Just push up with the brush. Just drop in a little bit more here. Maybe a little more here. Bring it on up here underneath this tree. It'll get darker underneath the tree. And we'll add just a little bit of highlight out here as well. Pull it down. And add a little bit more reflection to this water. Just a little bit, not much. Now I'm going to add, I'm going to use the two inch brush. And all you got to do to get you that color that you like, make yourself a sharp point. And you can actually go in here just with that and highlight some of these branches on these trees with it. So make sure you keep that edge sharp. So you can just lightly tap on a little bit, not much, leave a lot of the dark. We just need to show a little bit of highlight on these branches. And you're just pushing that color right in there. We're just going to pull that color out flat, cut across, and we're just going to try to go in here and Add in some, some rocks that come down into this water. Just like this. And some bank maybe. Put a little bank going here. A little white on the knife. A little bit more a little bit of that brown as well. Maybe some blue. We're gonna go back here where the water starts. And just cut across, create some Create a little water line back there. Not much because it's really far away. Alright guys, I think that this painting is coming to a close. Thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed painting along with me. And if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Let me know in the comments if you like this style of painting videos. If so, I will continue to do more full-length painting videos for you guys and try to help you guys learn as much as you can. I'm still learning as it is, so if you have any tips for me, leave them in the comments below. I'm always looking forward to trying to better myself when it comes to art. And uh, the biggest thing, have fun with it, guys. And uh, add me on Facebook. If you got some artwork that you want to show me, send it my way. I'd love to check it out. Until next time. Peace, Murat. And happy drawing.